What's up, noobs of YouTube? It's me here again, Desicryptor, and I'd like to show you uh, something I figured out in Sony Vegas. Uh, it's uh, I couldn't find this all over YouTube. It's like a frost effect on your on your camera or whatever when you're in when you're playing your game. Anyway, so what you want to start off with is your edited clip, as I got here. I'll play it for you or whatever so you can see it. And ignore the TV in the background that's just bringing it over there. He's playing Modern Warfare 3. Hello. See? And sorry about the usage of my camera. My fraps aren't currently working. Alright, you just seen I had my clip here. Now, I'm going to take a picture I have of Frost. Let me open it up to show you. There it is. Beauty, isn't she? Yes. <laughs> anyway, you want to take it and you want to drag it into Sony Vegas. Alright. This is an easy way. Well, this is really the only way I've seen. I haven't found one single way on YouTube of how to do this. Alright, you see there's three sections here. Three levels. I'm going to drag this up to the top. Right above. Ah, uh, my bad. I'll just drag this, it's easier. Anyway, see it's up above. Now these are like layers or whatever. Like, let's say you got two pieces of paper. This one is beneath this one, alright? Now, you click Event Pan Crop, and it'll bring up this box or whatever. And uh, you want to adjust the size to move your, uh, make it fit on your video better. Like, I want to zoom in so you can see the effects. So as I tinker with that, you can see it over on this side. You can see what it does. There we go. Let me see how that looks. That looks decent. Alright, I'm going to keep that. Ah, oh, wait one second. Expand it a little bit. There we go. Now it's full screen. Alright, now you want to extend it throughout your whole clip. You just take and drag till it lines up. It automatically lines up for you. Um, you want to go on to Video FX right there. It's kind of hard to see. Maybe I can move my camera. Oh, no, you can see it. Alright, now you're going to be up at the top. You want to scroll down to Cookie Cutter. You want to click it. There it is. Uh, let's see, is it the third? One, two three, four, five, six. It's the sixth down. You're going to take and drag this onto your top layer, which is your frost. As you see, my scope suddenly appears on the screen. This is just clearing away a little layer of uh, the top layer. I'm going to change the size of the hole that I'm clearing so you can see the video clear just like that alright now I'm gonna X off of this I am going to change the opacity of the top layer which is the frost all you do is go up to the top of the clip or whatever before you go up to the next one which there is none above me but right at the edge of the clip it says opacity is 100% uh, click it once and see you can change how clearly you can see through it now uh, I'm going to adjust it so it's slightly hard but a little faded so it looks more realistic like that All right, that's, that's perfect uh, that's at 84% um, now what you want to do or what I do is you see the kill feed over here is uh, slightly covered by the frost what you want to do or what I did is I took another exact same cookie cutter figure, redrop it back on, and over, where'd it go, there it is, over in this little box right here, there's this like uh, little blue thing you can move, and uh, watch over here as I move it to the left, you can see it moves the little circle, or whatever, wherever you put it, so I'm going to put that right on the kill feed, right there see that whole area is clear now what you want to do is change the size 
so it still looks frosty. One sec while I do that. It's kind of hard to do on this computer. There we go. There's the size. Now I'm going to move it back so it looks more natural. There we go. Now you can see my kill feed. I'm going to X off of that. And it's since you got multi-levels or whatever on one video, um, it will lag probably in Sony Vegas. I'm going to play it. You can clearly see my kill feed right there while it is frosted up. Looks pretty cool to me, actually. So, uh, I hope you guys like this. I mean, I like it. Because <laughs> I made it. <laughs> I love it. Oh, you love it? Yes. Okay. Anyway, uh, I'll post the rest of the video on the back of this so you can watch how it turned out again. And thanks for watching. Bye.